On Wednesday, the BRICS leaders welcomed some new faces to the table. Leaders from nearly a dozen South American nations joined the closed meeting. CCTV's Lucretia Franco explains. Seeking expansion and integration beyond the BRICS, that was the focus of the final day of talks Wednesday in Brasilia. The leaders of the BRICS countries invited 11 regional leaders, including Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, and Uruguay. It's a very important moment, not just on the short term, but also on the long term. In fact, it reflects a more multipolar world. The outreach meeting follows the launch of a new international development bank with a hundred billion U.S. dollars contingency fund to challenge the dominance of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Starting today, we will never again depend on the IMF. IMF will never again direct Brazil's policy. It's easy to say why the BRICS are the new powerhouse. The five countries represent almost three billion people with a combined GDP of 16 trillion U.S. dollars last year and an estimated four trillion in foreign reserves. Though it's expected the new bank will take two years to become operational, it has been considered a groundbreaking achievement and could help countries like Argentina, which is on the verge of default. Analysts say the move by BRICS countries to become a bigger voice in world economic growth is a good first step, but not loud enough, considering they represent half of the world's population and almost one-fifth of the world's economic output. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.